Hello guys, uh, in the first part of this video, we illustrated how the Newton's relation is obtained uh, to solve uh, a nonlinear equation. Taylor series was not used uh, to obtain the relationship. Instead, an illustrative approach uh, was employed for this purpose. I believe this illustrative method is simpler to comprehend uh, the fundamentals of the Newton's method. In this video, I'm going to show you two, uh, two examples to emphasize the importance of initial guess in Newton's method, which is used by most scientific calculators. If you choose an initial value which is not appropriate for a nonlinear equation you are trying to solve, you simply don't get the answer out of your calculator solver. And I'm sure you, you don't want that, uh, especially during your exam. The underlying reason is that Newton's method diverges due to the bad initial guess. Therefore, uh, through these two examples, you understand the importance of your initial guess and how Newton's method works behind the scene uh, in your calculator. Please note that I don't use a solver directly in my calculator. Okay, let's look at the first example. Okay, uh, this is the first example I'm going to investigate. Uh, I'm using hyper scientific calculator and the function, uh, you can see the function that I'm trying to solve with Newton's method. Uh, if we uh, hit on more button here on top uh, right corner, we can see the uh, graph of this equation. So that's a pretty complicated nonlinear curve and uh, you can see that this curve has two roots one close to zero and the other one close to four if your initial guess is 40 for example okay 40 is around here and if you draw a tangent line So you see it's close to minus 60. And then you draw another tangent line here. You see uh, the intersection of this second tangent line with the x-axis is uh, around like more than 100 or 150 so you see that uh, you are not getting closer to the root of this curve that's because of your bad initial guess which is 40 uh, in your solver let me show you a better initial guess So, for example, uh, if you choose 6, you see that uh, the tangent line, just imagine the tangent line, I'm not going to draw it now, uh, imagine the tangent line would be around uh, 3, something like that, then you draw another line, uh, you see that the intersection of the second tangent line with the x-axis is much closer to, to the root. And then the third tangent line probably uh, gives us the answer. So 5 or 6 or, uh, is a good initial guess for this nonlinear equation. So uh, this is the illustration of a good or bad uh, initial guess. Okay, let's get back to our nonlinear equation and uh, uh, put this equation into Newton's relationship and see how we get the root. And let's uh, copy this expression because I need it. Uh, assume an initial guess of 5. 
so 5 minus fx which is our nonlinear equation divided by f prime x and for the f prime x we look at 5 here and uh, I just need to change the numerator uh, variable to y because how that's how uh, my calculator works so I'm changing this to y because on the denominator I have the derivative in terms of x and uh, if I give uh, the numerator uh, x value the calculator doesn't work so I just replace it with y second variable and uh, remember that the initial guess is 5 so I just edit the initial guess and put 5 here okay this is the answer 4.13 let's consider two uh, decimal figures uh, 4.13 that's the result of the first iteration so I put 4.13 here for the derivative I put 4.13 and for the numerator y four point thirteen okay this is the third x that we get from Newton's method four point eighteen so I just put 4.18 here 4.18 and for the numerator for the y 4.18 you see the fourth value is again 4.18 and that means that uh, Newton method converges to the root of uh, our nonlinear relationship and that's nice uh, you see after uh, two iterations uh, we get closer to to our root and that's why uh, Newton's method is so popular and this is because of our good initial guess which was five and uh, remember that if we chose uh, for t uh, Newton's method diverges and we don't simply get the answer okay let's take a look at our second example okay this is our second example and if you look at the graph uh, this is a nonlinear curve the root is around like 1.773 something like that and uh, if you choose for example 5 as your initial guess you can imagine how it works for Newton method let me just show you 5 and then around here I'm gonna draw a tangent line on the curve okay it intersects x-axis around here like minus 2 but uh, you see if I'm gonna see where this point intersects with the curve I mean there is no place there is no way to uh, touch the curve because as you see the nonlinear curve has an asymptote around uh, 1 so you don't Never, you never get the answer by your initial guess of 5 so 
uh, this nonlinear curve is trickier and that's why I uh, chose this curve so of course if you are uh, closer to to the root for example 2 we can see that Newton's method uh, works okay let's get back to the equation and uh, use it in Newton's method let me just copy the expression okay uh, let's first use the bad initial case of 5 that we used 5 minus the relationship and then divided by the derivative of the function around 5 and let me just change the x to y for the numerator and give y the initial value of 5 minus 1.07 let's use this one minus 1.07 and then for y minus 1.07 you see it it's not approaching to the uh, root which was close to 2 like 1.7 uh, so if you continue you just diverge and you don't get the uh, answer uh, let's look at the initial guess of 2 is a good initial guess for this relationship based on the graph that we just observed 2 and then for y two, 1.68 that's the second um, x obtained by Newton's method so you, let's use that 1.68 1.68 and then for y 1.68 okay the third guess the third uh, answer is 1.74 Seven four. You see, uh, with two decimal figures, it's again one point seven four. So it means that Newton method uh, converges to the root of this nonlinear equation as expected. So initial guess of five, very bad. Initial guess of two is very good. So uh, I just wanted to show you. Uh, how that initial value uh, impacts your answer in your calculator solver so that's the importance of your initial guess for your solver in your calculator uh, and uh, I hope that illustration of Newton's method and the graphs uh, help you uh, to understand the fundamentals of this important approach if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can if this video helped you in any way please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content and would like to see more thank you